All right, what's up boys? I haven't made a video about Lil Pump in over two years and today's the day. My last one was about him making that music video with the Dobre Brothers, which was the worst music video of all time and worst song ever. But recently, Pump has been going on uh, tours and, you know, little one-off festivals in other random countries. He was in Japan recently and this video surfaced of him being like confused as why no one is recognizing him. And I think this was a quite obvious troll. At least that's what I thought it was. Like, I don't think he was actually confused why no one was recognizing him. There's no way. Not a lot of people in Japan are going to know who Pump is in the streets. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many fucking people in Japan. But the odds of someone being like, oh, it's a little Pump, it's, it could happen. But like, the odds are very low. I mean, there's, I mean, how many fucking people live in Japan, bro? He's probably in Tokyo, right? There's 14 million people that live in Tokyo. You know what I mean? Like, there's maybe like 50,000 people that know who Pump is there. <laughs> out of 14 million people. Like, I don't even know. And if they do know who Pump is, they forgot about him at this point. I feel like this was an obvious troll for him to just go viral and have like a bunch of rap pages and people talking about it and be like, yeah, Pump thinks he could still be someone in the comment sections are going to turn on him like always. Who does bro think he is and shit like that. He posted this on Instagram saying Tokyo shows love. Love y'all be back soon. And uh, it's just two people recognizing him right here. It looks like there's a bunch of people waiting around. Like it's, it's quite obvious that some people would recognize him there. Like I, I don't really think that that's any surprise apparently he dropped a song called i'm back too i didn't even know this was happening until this very moment what i think pump needs to do and he, he should have done this two or three years ago like late 2019 he should have done this he should have ditched the whole gangster rapper persona and like fuck you and ignorant shit right because everyone thinks that's corny now and they see right through that and he should have just started doing like either really melodic shit with like ghost writers that knew how to make melodic songs like he did with uh love it you know i love it or whatever with kanye like that song was decent just really pop radio songs changed his persona from like being a gangster guy to like someone who's fun and comedic a good personality which he does have a good personality deep down like if you see his interviews but i feel like he just blew up too quick too early in his life he blew up when he was 16 years old and he didn't really know how to evolve from the gangster image and that's what you know, ended up failing him in the long run, was not evolving from the gangster image, in my opinion. I don't know. I feel like every three to four months I hear about him doing something stupid like this <laughs> and like it just gets posted by all the meme pages or rap pages and people kind of clown on him. And I kind of feel bad for him because probably a shitty situation. He was very ignorant and made fun of people and was ignorant on purpose to try to get views and shit. So he needs to ditch that and just be like the good funny guy who has like melodic songs or something. Try to switch something up. Old image is not going to work uh, five years later. And that's just a fact. Comment down below what you boys think Pump could do. But I think it might be over unless he really puts effort in changing his whole image. I love Pump though. Good guy. Seems like a good guy. I would love to talk to him one day. Anyway, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Second channel, podcast channel. Peace out, boys.